Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Raghavind Mishra and I welcome you all. In my previous video, we have learned how to install Jenkins on Windows Server and uh, created a Jenkins job. Now in this video, we will learn how to configure the Gmail SMTP server in Jenkins so that the Jenkins can send email to the re recipient or to the users once the job is complete. All right. So let us go to the Jenkins and click on manage Jenkins and we will click on system under system configuration. All right. So it is taking time to load. Yeah, it has loaded. Scroll all the way down and mind you, I mean, we are using the latest version of Jenkins. So here you can see email notification. All right. So inside email notification, you have to configure your SMTP uh, server. So here we are going to configure the Gmail SMTP server. You can configure any SMTP server you want. Okay. In this case, like if you are in corporate or some uh, working with some company, you have to give uh, that uh, AD account or you know SMTP server details of that company okay but here just in case like uh, for the demonstration and uh, of this video I'm using my personal email I mean Gmail account all right you have to click on advance and this is that name okay smtp dot gmail dot gmail dot com okay just remember this so this is the server for the smtp server for the gmail all right uh, now here i am using my rp mistra qa account rp mistra qa at the rate gmail dot account at the rate gmail dot com and here i am giving my personal i mean that uh, r mistra qa uh, account password okay i'll show you what could be the error when we are using the uh, password account password here okay and just remember this and then you have to check use smtp authentication which we have already seen and then you have to enter the username and password then you have to check use ssl which is secure circuit layer you have to check this option and then you have to give 465 okay this will not be there so i have uh, already filled in couple of details for four six five okay so this is the smtp port okay which you have to provide and then you have to provide the reply to address reply to address which i mean uh, you can give any uh, other uh, email address but uh, for sake of you know demonstration uh, i'm using the same email address okay so email it will be sending the email from this account and receiving the account uh, receiving the email on this account only okay in this email address r mr q at the red gmail you can use your own care set we will go with the default utf8 okay all right and now you click on this option test configuration by sending test email so we are going to send the test email to the some r mr q let me send the test uh, email to this address i'll click on test configuration and uh, you may come across some issues for sure okay i'm going to discuss why uh, we are getting this uh, issue okay so purpose of this video is to configure the gmail smtp server and also if there are any issue we have to sort that those issues out while configuring the gmail smtp server so fail to send out email so it is telling jakarta mail authentication failed exception application specific password required okay learn more and uh, this is that error code all right so authentication is getting failed application specific password required application specific what is that so now it is complaining about the application specific password now since we are using uh, uh, this personal account gmail uh, smtp uh, dot gmail dot com smtp server basically so google has enabled google has enabled the two step verification all right so in that case in that case to create an uh, app password you need uh, uh, two step verification on your google account okay so to fix this particular you know issue we can go to the uh, smtp server i mean we can go to the gmail account which we are using uh, here okay which we are using as a 
use SMTP authentication. We are using our, I'm using my personal uh, Gmail account for the uh, SMTP authentication. Okay. So you have to go to that account. So in your case, it will be your uh, Gmail account. So here you have to click on the manage your um, Google account and then it will take you to the this screen, this UI. Here you have to click on security and then you have to click on two step verification under sign in to Google. Okay. So just click on two step verification and provide your password. This time it is your account password. Okay. R Mr. QA password. You have to provide the password for your account and then I'll scroll all the way down till app password. You can see nothing is configured over here as of now. So what we have to do, we have to click on here and give the app name. So for Jenkins, we can give app name as because we are going to configure SMTP Gmail SMTP server for the Jenkins, right? So I can give uh, app name. You can, it can be anything, but just uh, it will be easy for uh, like uh, to remember, right? If I give Jenkins. So now when we click on give the app name, Jenkins I have given it can be anything as I said and then, then click on create so it will generate the password and this is that password which you have to use in the Jenkins okay your app password for your device your app password for your device how to use you can uh, read this instruction but I'm, I'm going to you know click on done or let it be as is okay so here I am going instead of my R Mr. QA password personal password i'm going to i should use the one which is generated by google okay generated app password i should use generated app password here for the jenkins app i will click on apply and will send the test email again and this error should be gone authentication failed exception should be gone okay test configuration i'm clicking on this and now username and password are not accepted it says okay so this error is different this time and uh, let me let us see so authentication failed exception and uh, the password which we have given okay it has saved and uh, now let us if this error persists we can reload the jenkins we can uh, re-log into this 465 r mistra fail to send email username and password r mistra qa let me copy this error as well fail to send email okay this is with respect to the Right. Um, so what, how we can fix it? We are just looking at here. Okay. So the password, I think, yeah, was, was correct only. I'll make sure if there is any, anything wrong with the SMTP gmail.com, nothing is wrong. So let me just uh, reload the Jenkins. Okay. In that case, I will log out and we'll log in. is data and the password is data and the password is okay uh, so i'll go to the manage jenkins or i can simply give configure which will take me to the same screen okay I'll go to this or I can do one more thing I will just delete it I will just delete it I will give uh, the name again okay and we'll generate the password again 
this time I'm getting this password just in case if the password which we have cop was not copied and we have entered it also may cause the issue okay so I will go ahead and give the password change the password just change the password I will apply and I will just click on test configuration by sending email and I'm sending email to rmishraqa.com this is my gmail this is my gmail so I'm going to apply and we'll send the email to this I'm going to test the email configuration see email was sent successfully okay so there was a problem problem with the copying the password okay maybe the way i copied right it would have not copied and maybe it would have copied some different password altogether so in that case what you can do you can just uh, remove this and you can generate give the same name again and then create click on create it will generate the password new password again which you can use in the jenkins in the same section okay where here so instead of instead of your personal account personal uh, account password you have to use the app password okay which is generated by the uh, google now let us see see email test so this is the test email which i have received from the jenkins zero minutes ago all right so that's it from this video and i hope you have liked the explanation and uh, learned from this video please do like and subscribe to my channel and share it with share it with your friends also share the feedback in comment section and i will see you with the next video uh, in in that same channel so till then keep learning and thanks for watching